Minnesota Fighting Vikings general manager Kwesi Dofamensa has not been shy at all about making some trades on draft day. And looking at the deals that he made last year, flopping with the Lions, flopping with the Packers, in, trading in division as well as uh, doing some deals with the Colts. A lot of people gave him guff, you know, dro dropping 20 spots in division, not getting a future first round pick. E even though by the charts, by and large, he did okay. Uh, he, he did okay, but that's not the point right now. And Kwesi, I, I love that he will w is willing to take calculated risks. I mean, that that comes uh, from his Wall Street background, and he's not afraid to roll the dice. That's right, especially when it comes to the most important position in all of team sports, the quarterback. And I think that all the signs are pointing to the Vikings are going to take a big swing at a QB in this year's draft, but the quarterbacks next year are so better. Shut up. We live in the now. It's never too late for now, and we're going to get things done. And Chad Reuter over at NFL.com, fantastic writer. He, he does, So, like, DJ and Bucky get all, all the love. Lance Zerline, too. Chad Reuter is that, that meat and potatoes guy who's been there forever, does phenomenal work. I love and respect uh, what he does. But uh, he did up a piece, 2023 NFL draft, five first-round trades that would make sense. And it does line up with the trades that he made uh, in his recent uh, four-round mock draft. And the Vikings... Moving on up to the east side, finally got a piece of the pie. Uh, moving to the top ten with the Eagles, who have two first-round picks, and Howie. Howard, we're doing some business. Let's go. So the Vikings would get number ten overall, uh, which is originally the Saints pick, and for that we thank you. Uh, and the, the Eagles would get 23-87, the Vikings third-round pick, uh, as well as a 2024 first-round choice. So the Vikings will be out day one, day two, absent the number ten pick, and also uh 2024 pick, which – Hopefully he's going to be very late, maybe number 32 overall, maybe 31 if the Dolphins screw up again. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and the Vikings go get the quarterback of the future. So this is what Chad wrote. <clears throat> There's never been a draft in which four quarterbacks were selected amongst the first nine overall picks, uh, with C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young considered by many observers to be the top two passers in this class. Uh, it seems likely that Will Levis or Anthony Richardson, both talented in their own right, will be available at number 10, much like Justin Fields in 2011, uh, 2021, uh, when the Bears traded for the 11th overall pick for him. Now, again, we need to go back. If the Vikings would have wanted to trade for Fields in 2021, they, they would have been able to do it. And the Vikings had the capital. They could have easily outbid the Bears, but Spielman and Zimmer didn't want to do it. That's all. That's all. Uh, when Bears fans would be like, oh, you want Justin Fields. We could have had him. Didn't want him. That's all. Uh, and then he continues. A Vikings GM, Kwesi Dofamensa, and head coach Kevin O'Connell might covet one of the top quarterback prospects in this class with the idea that said prospect will take over Kirk Cousins. He turns 35 in August and is headed for free agency after the 2023 season. Uh, GM, uh, Philly GM, how... Howard Roseman uh, made uh, at least one trade involving a first-round pick in all but one of the past seven drafts. If the Eagles aren't interested in something like the above deal, the Vikings could still call other teams in the middle of the first round if they like one of the available signal callers. Moving from the late first round into the top dozen overall picks for a quarterback is not unheard of, in addition to the Bears jumping from 20 to 11 for fields. The Chiefs, who grabbed Patrick Holmes, no big deal, went from 27 to 10. And then I went from 6 to midnight. Uh, and Texans, who selected Sean Watson going from 25 to 12, made similar moves in 2017. Uh, Kansas City had a solid veteran on the rooster, Alex Smith, when trading up. A similar situation in which um, to the one in which Minnesota finds itself. Not that I'm projecting Levis or Richardson to be as successful as Mahomes. That's why I took away, though. I only hear what I want to hear. Uh, but they both certainly have the potential to be longtime starting quarterbacks in the National Football League. And in Chad's uh, latest mock draft, the Vikings do trade up uh, with the Eagles in that aforementioned deal to go get Will Levis. I, I like that he compares Levis to Jay Cutler, or got it done the SEC, sort of a sort of a interesting attitude. I actually, I actually don't mind my quarterback being a bit of an a-hole. I kind of like it. As long as uh, guys uh, attend his birthday party, who cares? Uh, that's all. Of course, a big-time arm with Will Levis. Uh, and Overall, this is what the trade will look like again. Number 10, and then the Vikings give a 2387 and a 2024 first round pick. So then the Vikings would be down to four total picks this year, as well as uh, mortgaging next year's first round pick. But I, I do trust Quasey and Kevin O'Connell. Like, if they think that a quarterback is the guy and he's available, go get him. You know, go get your guy and then go from there and damn the torpedoes. Because. The greatest competitive advantage in the National Football League is having your quarterback, having a franchise guy. And you could say, like, well, this guy could bust. Well, he also couldn't. That's all. Sometimes you lose when you gamble. Sometimes you win. 
and sometimes this could be a, a winner here uh, if the Vikings do make a big time move uh, for a quarterback. Your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Chad Reuter, NFL.com says uh, a Vikings trading into the top 10 for a quarterback could make some sense uh, if the board breaks right. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.